Hi, right, campers. We're in Hiawatha, Kansas, on the west side of town. We're at Skyview Equipment, New Holland dealer. Um, we're going to take a look around the lot. Uh, there's nobody here today. It's uh, Saturday. But uh, we're going to take a look at some of the New Holland equipment. They've got some other equipment. I guess I saw a John Deere combine and a couple of case tractors. But we're going to take a look around the lot and, and uh, just kind of see what's what. Now, I will say this, uh, Skyview Equipment, they're also a Kinsey dealer. They have a construction equipment. Uh, they are also located in St. Joe, Missouri. So, you have St. Joe, Missouri, and uh, here in Hiawatha, Kansas. Now, St. Joe is about out, all about an hour northeast of here, um, if you look on the map. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure in St. Joe where they're at, but St. Joseph, Missouri, Skyview Equipment, and Hiawatha, Kansas. As we're looking around here, got some new Holland skid steer loaders and various attachments. Uh, looks like uh, grapples, four grapples, a Postal digger of digger, some forklifts, a self propelled uh, one person stand behind skid loader, a C337. This looks brand new track with tracks, and then a 230 that is pretty much used. You can tell by the wear on the tires, and then it looks like they got a 345. Sorry about the shaking, some holes there. And this one looks brand new because the bucket's really new. But uh, yeah. Then they got a little line of small compact tractors. Um, this is a Workmaster 255. Little bitty dude. As you can see by my leg there. It's not very big. So yeah, this is a little bigger one. This is a Workmaster 35. It also has a scoop. Oh, and this one has a mower deck on it. I didn't notice that earlier. So yeah. Then we've got a 40, Workmaster 40, same thing. And a 75. We're getting into the bigger size tractors, and they got a they got an owl on top to keep the birds off of them. Kind of like a scarecrow type of thing. But yeah. And it opens. They've got everything all wrapped in plastic still. Smells new. These are brand new. Look at this. Still uh, still got all the plastic on them. These things have just arrived not too long ago. And we're going to... This is a Workmaster 105. So we're looking at about 105 horse. Maybe. I'd have to look it up for sure. There's another 105. These are all brand new. Wow. Another one. This is a. Is this another 105. This is a 55. Okay, so this is a smaller one. I would get inside of these, but there's nobody here, and I did not ask permission to film today, so I'm not going to get into any of the equipment. I think I might sneak into one or two, but yeah. All right, so yeah, some smaller tractors. We're going to walk over where that big uh, New Holland Combine is, and we'll take a look. Okay, so we're over at the other end of the lot. This is a New Holland CR8.90 Foon Rotor Revelation. This thing is huge. So I'm reaching up with my hand, and... I'm 5'11", so 
you can kind of see uh, how big this thing really is. Zoom out. So this is a Dalton Ag product shadow. This is a chisel. If you notice, notice the, uh, the big chisels here that I'm pointing at with my tripod. But he got a disc, and then you got the chisel, and followed by two more discs. And break up ground. This would be you would use this for really hard ground um, to break it up, uh, like wheat ground that's been sitting for a while. You would use that. <clears throat> they got a couple of them here. Not sure what their width is, um, but you can see they fold a couple times. But they've got several of them here. One, two, three. Three of them that are brand new. That are black. And then they've got a couple down here that are a little smaller, looks like. Maybe not. I don't know. You guys tell me where you think they're smaller. Same size? Bigger. I don't know. They look about the same size. Actually, you know what? That one folds. This one doesn't. So these are these blue ones are a little smaller. Now there's one and the blue one on the other side looks it folds. It might be bigger. But uh, oh, here we go. Here we got a Kinsey planner, Kinsey 3500 planner. It is used, as you can tell, and a Harvest International planner. I'm not sure who makes that. But here's a bigger Kinsey three. 3660, very big planner, and I got a, a couple honeybee headers over there, let me zoom in, see if you can see them a little better, I hard to see because the sun is not, it's reflecting, there we go, honeybee headers, there we go, it's hard to see in my uh, monitor, yeah. And here we got a John Deere S670. I'm sorry that this, if this is jerking around, but this parking lot, it just rains. I'm trying to avoid all the water puddles as well. Um, but yeah, John Deere 670. Big, big combine. It even has a fleet number one on it. And so you got the... Uh, where the header attaches and sucking the uh, uh, grain into the throat. Now this is, when I was cutting soybeans on my 8820, this is always where I would plug up and I would literally have to open the top of the hatch. We had a kind of a bolt down hatch and I'd have to pull soybeans out, kind of like this here. This was, uh, looks like corn was the last thing. This was cut one this thing is to the stock of corn that head of corn that hasn't been uh, didn't get through the combine but as you can see critters will be out here looking for it I'm surprised they haven't gotten it earlier but uh, it's been here for a while this is really dry probably from last season I'm thinking I mean, it is July here, so corn has not been harvested yet. And we got another, another combine, New Holland combine. I'm not sure what this is. Let's take a look. This is a a CR seventy ninety. Older, older combine. Got some older, older chisel. Not sure what brand. Looks like he got some fertilizer tank on it. There's an older Dalton. Here's another CR880 with a corn header on it. And they got these guys pointed out for some reason. Not sure why. Let me get around here. There's a very, very old planter. Alright, I need to 
sorry about this video part. <laughs> I had to switch hands. All right, so here we have an older CR 9060. They've got spreader and a chopper. Looks to be in chopper mode. And they've got their elevators open so the water will drain. So there's another main row MDD 200 12 row header on this thing. That looks to be fairly new. I don't know that it's actually used. This one's obviously been used. He's still got a spit bucket or a bucket in there with a bunch of rags. Okay, looky here. We got a case axle flow 2388. This is an older combine. Older combine. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you get twin spreaders in the back. Still in decent shape though. Though I do see some panels inside, so I'm wondering if maybe, yeah, it looks like the uh, side, the panels, I don't know if you can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. The, uh, where the console is, the side panels are all off. So, New Holland uh, corn header. Um, Smaller, six row, one, two, three, four, five, six row, six row hinder. Here's an, a new, newer, maybe new, uh, CR9060, New Holland. And this one has the window tarp on it for hauling on semi. So I'm wondering if at one time this was a uh, custom harvest machine it's been used quite a bit uh, the front throat header is tilted i'm wondering if that's natural or natural tilt without knowing about these machines i think it's a natural tilt because i see if you see right there there's some wear so that thing's this thing's been going back and forth so it's back and forth as a fall on the ground terrain i'm assuming but that tarp rolls up over the top and protects the windshield as you're hauling it down the uh, highway here's another 960 i'm going to say since these all three are 960s let me make sure yep nope that's a 790 i'm going to say these two were used for custom cutting um, because they're kind of set up that way and they're used and they're still good shape so uh, probably have a lot of hours on them. Custom cutters put a lot of hours on the combines. This is an older machine, very dirty. Also, looks like it was last last thing it cut was corn. Another header. One, two. Let me. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another 12 row. Um, so yeah, another big grain cart. Another John Deere tractor. Here's a very old case 5140. They've got hooked up to a pull behind mower that looks like it's been sitting for a while because it's got stuff growing on it. And another older New Holland uh, pull behind swather, and then got a New Holland baler on the back of this MX220 case. It's an older case with bale forks and an MM, MXM175. That's an older, older tractor. Not real familiar with that. Um, so, yeah. So, just in case you're curious about soybeans, I know in the game, you see them in the game, they don't necessarily appear the same. So here's what real soybeans look like. 
They are in rows. In rows. And they've got some water wash out through here, but there's in rows. Now this, these, let's see, we're in July. So these will not be ready to harvest until oh, late October, early November, maybe. Kind of depends uh, on when they planted them. If they planted them early, then you're looking earlier, early, uh, early October. But, all right. Well, let me turn this around. Well, campers, that was our tour of the New Holland dealer in Hiawatha, Kansas. As like I said, they also have a dealership in St. Joe, Missouri. So we're going to take a short walk. Well, not short, but a walk. Uh, there's a John Deere dealership just across the way over here, uh, not too far away. So we're going to go check that out and see what John Deere has to show us. See you later.